Have you ever wondered the drawbacks of traditional fish farming methods we've been using for centuries? In the world of aquaculture, one of the most time-honored methods of fish farming involves the frequent changing of water. This practice has been the backbone of the industry for ages, but it's not without its challenges. First, let's look at the environmental impact. Water, as we know, is a precious resource. When we frequently change water in fish farms, we are using an enormous volume of this valuable commodity. Moreover, the disposal of used water poses another environmental concern. This water, rich in fish waste and uneaten food, often finds its way into our rivers and oceans, leading to pollution and contributing to the uh, eutrophication of water bodies. Then there's the cost factor. Regular water changes come with a hefty price tag. Uh, we're talking about the cost of water itself, the energy needed to pump and treat it and the infrastructure required to handle such large volumes. And let's not forget the manpower needed to manage the whole process. But it's not just about money or the environment. The stress caused to the fish during water changes is another major downside. Just as you and I would find it distressing to be uprooted from our homes repeatedly, fish too find frequent water changes stressful. This stress can lead to weakened immune systems, making the fish more susceptible to disease. And what about the inconsistency in water quality? Despite the best efforts, each water change can bring variations in temperature, pH levels, and nutrient content. This inconsistency can negatively impact the growth and health of the fish. So we've got environmental concerns, high costs, stressed fish, and inconsistent water quality. These are significant challenges that beg the question, are these traditional methods of fish farming truly sustainable and cost effective? It's clear that these traditional methods are not sustainable or cost effective. So, what could be the game-changing solution? Enter the world of probiotics, a solution that is revolutionizing fish farming. At its core, the concept of probiotics is quite simple. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that, when introduced into an environment, can have a positive impact on the health and well-being of the inhabitants. Just as probiotics can boost the gut health in humans, they can also be a game changer for our fin friends in fish farming. In the world of fish farming, maintaining water quality is a constant battle. Traditional methods often involve frequent water changes, which can be both time consuming and expensive. But here's where probiotics come in. These beneficial bacteria work tirelessly to maintain water quality, reducing the need for such changes. Now, you might be wondering, how do they achieve this? Well, probiotics break down waste products in the water, which would otherwise build up and become harmful to the fish. By doing so, they not only clean the water, but also recycle nutrients promoting a healthier and more balanced environment. But the benefits of probiotics don't stop there. They also inhibit the growth of harmful bacteria by outcompeting them for resources. This natural form of competition helps to keep the population of harmful bacteria in check, resulting in a safer environment for the fish. And if all that wasn't impressive enough, Probiotics also play a direct role in enhancing the health of the fish themselves. By supporting a balanced gut microbiome, these beneficial bacteria can boost the immune system of fish, making them more resistant to disease and stress. 
In essence, probiotics are the unsung heroes of modern fish farming. They work quickly in the background, maintaining water quality, inhibiting harmful bacteria, and enhancing fish health. And all this without the need for frequent water changes or the use of harsh chemicals. As we can see, probiotics are not just beneficial for human health, they are also transforming the way we farm fish. So how exactly does using probiotics in fish farming benefit us? First off, let's talk about cost efficiency. Traditional fish farming methods require frequent water changes to maintain a healthy environment for the fish. This not only takes a lot of time and effort, but also racks up quite a bill in terms of water and energy usage. On the other hand, using probiotics helps maintain water quality, reducing the need for these frequent and costly changes. Now let's move on to environmental impact. The wastewater from fish farms often contains a high level of pollutants, which can be harmful to natural water bodies when it's discharged. However, the use of probiotics can significantly reduce the level of these pollutants, making the wastewater safer for disposal and lessening the environmental impact of uh, fish farming operations. Next, we have healthier fish. Probiotics promote uh, a balanced gut microbiota, which is essential for fish health. They help boost the immune system of the fish making them more resistant to diseases and reducing the need for antibiotics. This results in healthier fish and a safer product for consumers. And of course there's the increased yield. Healthier fish means lower mortality rates and less time and money spent on treating sick fish. This in turn leads to a higher yield of fish per cycle boosting the profitability of the fish farming operation. Lastly, all these benefits contribute to making fish farming more sustainable. Lower costs, reduced environmental impact, healthier fish, and increased yield all lead to a more efficient and sustainable way of farming fish. This could be the key to meeting the growing global demand for seafood in a way that's both profitable and environmentally friendly. The benefits of probiotics in fish farming are clear, making it an attractive alternative to traditional methods. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned today about probiotics in fish farming. We began our journey by exploring the traditional methods of fish farming which, while effective, are not without their drawbacks. From the constant need for water changes to the risk of diseases and the impact on the environment, these methods are a significant drain on resources and efficiency. We then delved into the exciting world of probiotics, these microscopic superheroes that are changing the face of fish farming. The science behind it is fascinating. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that, when introduced to the fish farming environment, can help to improve water quality, reduce the need for water changes, and even boost the health of the fish. This is achieved by the probiotics breaking down waste materials and competing against harmful bacteria creating a healthier environment for the fish to thrive in. This not only reduces the risk of disease, but also enhances the growth rate and overall health of the fish. The benefits of using probiotics in fish farming are manifold. Not only do they lead to healthier, faster growing fish, but they also significantly reduce the environmental impact of fish farming. By reducing the need for water changes and lowering the risk of disease, probiotics also result in cost savings, making the fish farming business more profitable. But the benefits don't stop there. 
with a reduced need for antibiotics due to healthier fish, we're also contributing to the global fight against antibiotic resistance, a serious threat to human health. Switching to probiotics in fish farming is not just a smart move, it's a step towards a more sustainable and profitable future. So if you're in the fish farming business, or even if you're just interested in sustainable farming practices, consider the benefits that probiotics can offer. Embrace the science, reap the benefits, and join the revolution for a healthier, more sustainable, and profitable future in fish farming.